So today I wanted to review the topic of screws per request. I know that when I was starting out having pretty much no background in orthopedics, the terms lag screw or cortical or locking screw would simply go right over my head. So I plan on doing multiple videos over screws to cover the basics you will want to know for rotation. Today we will start with the so-called anatomy of the screw. Let's start with the diameters that are measured. The thread diameter is the length represented here by the capital D and measures intuitively from thread to thread directly across the screw. The core diameter is represented here by the lowercase d and is the diameter of the screw excluding the threads. Finally, the head diameter is a length across the head of the screw as seen here. These measurements are important when it comes to knowing the drill diameters you will want to use when placing the screws intra-op. For instance, with this lag screw placement here, which as a side note, I will go over lag screws in further detail in a future video, but here you can see how important it would be to be aware of the different diameters of the screw as the proximal fracture fragment is drilled to the thread diameter and the distal fragment is drilled to only the core diameter. Finally, countersinking the head of the screw for a greater surface area purchase on the near cortex is done, which again, knowing the head diameter would obviously play into placement here. Finally, for this video, the pitch of the screw is the distance between each thread and this determines the travel distance of the screw with each full turn. Alrighty, we will continue our discussion of screws in the next video.